Hi friends. Well, today's video is uh, mostly about me getting my new well pump installed and working on the sprinkler system that it runs. Um, also, uh, I found a new deli in West Ahihik and I'm pretty excited about it, so I made a little video about it. Uh, I got a question about my alligator, crocodile. It's uh, paper mache. He's uh, been part of the family for a while. We used to have a clock in his mouth. Um, oh, phone call, where was I? Oh, I said we used to have a clock in his mouth. I don't know what happened to it. A reference to Peter Pan. It is paper mache, but it's, uh, it's very solid. We bought it from a friend when they were moving back to the United States and we didn't pay nearly what he paid for it at a specialty shop that makes these kinds of things up in Talakapaki. The other question was about, am I getting ash from the volcano erupting over by Mexico City? Um, the name of the volcano is, now listen to me butcher my Spanish, Poco Catepel, Poco Catepel, uh, often called Popo because it's hard to say the rest of it. I'm not getting any ash from there. First of all, I'm 400 miles uh, west of there and a little bit north. Uh, people don't realize how big Mexico is sometimes. I got a call from the United States, uh, worried. Um, that uh, we might be getting ash. Uh, the prevailing winds are to the east anyway. I did uh, get ash several times on me, but it wasn't here in Mexico. We lived in Portland, Oregon in 1980 when Mount St. Helens blew up. Some of the first eruptions before the big one on May 18th, um, 1980, right? I think so. Uh, before the big one, there were several minor eruptions, minor compared to the big one. We were on the Columbia River in our boat, uh, sleeping overnight one weekend, and um, woke up in the morning and it was still dark at like 8 o'clock in the morning, and it didn't make any sense. And the reason it was dark is because all of the windows in the boat were totally covered with ash. Uh, going home that weekend, we had to take our uh, uh, T-shirts, like a wet T-shirt, and put it around uh, well, boats uh, to protect the engine. Boats don't have air cleaners. They have flame arresters on top of the carburetor um, because it's in a closed space. Anyway, we take a wet T-shirt and wrap it around the top of the carburetor in order to keep the ash from going in and ruining the engine. That's how we made it home at the end of that weekend. Um, a lot of cars and trucks and even airplanes uh, engines were ruined by the ash in the air. Anyway, Mount St. Helens. Yes, I've had ash on me, but not recently. We used to we had to scoop it out of our driveway in Portland with scoop shovels, like snow shovels. It was about an inch thick in my driveway in Portland after the big one. Uh, actually, that's not true. Not after the big one. The big one, the prevailing winds were um, easterly, and they got more ash in Montana than we did in Portland. Anyway, today's video. Uh, check out this deli and... Um, Indulge me while I work on my well pump and sprinkler system. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. I found this new deli in West Ahihik and I'm going to try it out today. I'm at the corner of Rio Bravo and the Carretera in West Ahihik. Traffic is bad, as usual, but it's not all cars today. The deli has quite the selection of things. A sausage, Italian, chorizo, bratwurst, metwurst, breakfast sausage. 
uh, smoked black forest ham, beef turkey, smoked bacon, beef stew, hmm, chili, not spicy, soup, loaded potato soup and creamy veggie, sandwiches, mac and cheese, chicken pot pie, shepherd pie, cottage pie, a few uh, pastry items. And over here in the cooler, we have potato salad, coleslaw, mango lassi. Hmm. This new deli, and he made me a Reuben and a Cubano. Awesome. So, you are? Antonio, I'm from Scantos Deli. Scanto, what is Scanto? Who's Scantos? Scantos is the expression when you make uh, something that you, you like it, but yeah. especially like a, it's okay or it's fine yeah. or you know, or eh, whatever is good. I mean, it's just an expression. In, in Greek? In Greek or even yeah. in Greek or Sicilian style, both together is like uh, a slang word. Are you Greek? Uh, no, <laughs> but I learned a lot from yeah. uh, all the Italian families and everything in the United States, yeah. Well, I'm happy to meet you. I'm oh, you. Uh, going to enjoy my Reuben and my Cubano. Oh. Actually, my wife Lynn is going to get one of those. So maybe we'll split them. I appreciate it. Thank you for coming. All right. We'll see you soon. Thank bye bye. You. Oh, if I call you, you can just make something up for me. I'll yes, pick it up. I will. I will do it fresh and everything. We'll do All right. It. Yes. I'll uh, put your phone number in the video somewhere. Thank you, sir. Thank yeah. you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Here's the Delhi's business card if you want to call them 376 108 5701. Okay, I'm home about to enjoy my Cubano, my half of the Cubano. First bite. Mmm. 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 I've been to some famous delis. New York, Portland, Oregon, Las Vegas. This is good. Mmm. If you live anywhere close to the north shore of Lake Chapala, you gotta get there. Mm. Mm. Amazing. I'm gonna put the camera down and eat. I enjoyed that a lot. I really did. I've occasionally gotten a sandwich at the subway here in Ahihik, and it's okay. Not one of those famous delis I was referring to, but I get the Italiano with uh, double meat, and, well, it's okay. This Scantos, it's more than okay. This is the real deal. I am so happy to have found it. I tried pulling the old well pump out and I put it in there myself, but with no water in it, it wasn't as heavy. Now with 20 feet of pipe and water in the pump, it's too heavy. So I decided to take some of these old uh, chain link fence posts and make myself a davit, a winch to pull the pump out of the well. I could wait till Juan was around and he'd help me or um, the gardener, we could pull it. But I decided I have nothing better to do than to mess around with my welder today.
The new winch worked perfectly to pull the old pump out and to lower the new pump in. Sorting out the electrical wires and trying not to get electrocuted. This whole project started when I realized there's a leak underneath the living room. I built the living room over the old system for the sprinklers. We're making a new line that bypasses the leak. Digging out a sprinkler, this one is broke and leaks underneath of it. Haven't used this system for years. Well, I've spent two days being a plumber instead of a videographer. We got all the new lines laid, turned on the pressure, <laughs> forgot to glue one of the uh, joints together, had to go and get a, another union to get that fixed. We got the sod laid back in. Hopefully that grass will come back with a little water. Carol, you want to be on YouTube again? Uh, I don't think with his head I... Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. How about you, Bruno? <laughs> so that other people can recognize me? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Bruno, so is that the outdoor or the indoor? Okay. I think this is a really smart dog. However, he came in here. Remember a poem. A poem. A, a poem that starts out. Um, Winkle. Blinkin' and... Nod. Winkin', Blinkin' and Nod. Went out it's and not something ship. Pea green boat? Pea green no. Well, no, that was somebody else. Something went out and shipped. Winkle, Dingle. No, Winkle. Blinkin', Blinkin' and Nod. Who oh, okay. went out in a rubber raft? Is this something you made up when you were in high school? No, I just made no, it but, up no. now. You just made it up now, but it's but definitely you know. made up. No, no, here it is, because you gave the magic word. Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Oh, Winnie the Pooh? I betcha. Unfortunately, I don't have it with me. I have <clears throat> when we were very young, and now we are six, which is not Winnie the Pooh, but it's written by A.A. A. Milne. By, by who? A.A. A. Milne, who wrote Winnie the Pooh. Mm. So, it, I have two or three of those books, but they're up at my son's house in New Hampshire. I used mm -hmm. to work for a guy named Milne, spelled the same way. M-I-L-N-E, Milne? But we called him Milne. Milne? Yeah. yeah why do we call, why is A.A. Milne, Milne, M-I-L-N-E called Milne, and you called him Milne? Oh, that's Mexican. That's no, 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 I didn't work for him in Mexico. He's in... <laughs> Jerry, Thousand Oaks, California. Jerry, what is on your hand? Uh, blue, um, 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 pegamento. I'm having trouble with my English. Uh, PVC c cement. Oh. And that's on the side of your hand, too? No, that's just dirt. Did you see my, have you seen my tires? Your tires? Yeah. Not recently. About, about six months ago, I must have gone through some cement, driven in some cement. Yeah. I don't remember doing it. So the reason I didn't just cap it off and not use that part of the system is because it actually extends all the way back here. There's a sprinkler head down in here that uh, we haven't found yet. <laughs> we'll, we'll get it fixed. There's a sprinkler head in this garden. There's sprinkler heads all the way along there. I think six of them. And there's one out here in the middle. Maybe 
we won't have to have all of these hoses laying around the yard and the patios all the time. That'll be a plus. Well, sorry you didn't get a whole bunch of information about ah he heek this video, but it's my life for the last several days. Thanks for indulging me. See you in the next video. And uh, like my friend Camper Van Kevin always says, where are we gonna end this? Right here. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.